I'm here with Connor Hughes, and Connor, it's the start of the Jets' three-day mandatory minicamp. Two guys are not here, both unexcused. Let's start mm -hmm. with the defensive guy, Hassan Reddick. Yeah, a little bit of a surprise, I think, for the Jets that they're not here. Robert Sala said last week he expected him to be in attendance for mandatory minicamp. He is not because Reddick wants a new contract. He's paid $15 million annually. He's somebody who has the fourth most sacks in the NFL since 2020, and he wants to be paid like the guys like Nick Bosa like Brian Burns, like Josh Allen, which is a contract near 28, 29, 30 million per year. Now, what's interesting about this current situation is that when the Jets traded for Hassan Reddick, they made it very clear to him that they were not going to redo his contract before the year. He was going to play out on this deal, and then they were going to reassess where things were after the season. If Reddick played as the Jets expected him to, he was going to get that mega money extension either from the Jets, which the Jets were hoping for, mm -hmm. or elsewhere. But the, aside from what they were going to do before the year, it was just going to be minor adjustments. Think about what the Giants did with Darius Slayton, where they added some additional incentives into his contract to make some more money. That's all mm -hmm. they were willing to do with, with Reddick, and he was on board with that, so much so that I talked to multiple sources who said he told people within the Jets building, or multiple sources inside the building who talked to Reddick, said that he told told them that his plans were to attend the off-season program and minicamp. Well, something changed, obviously, between now and then because he skipped all of the off-season program, all of OTAs, and now he is a no-show for minicamp. So this is absolutely something worth monitoring moving forward because the Jets really have no idea when Reddick's going to show up. Robert Tassal does say he expects him to be ready yeah. to go for yeah, training. Yeah, this isn't a guy you're worried about shape. Yeah, He's going to show up in shape. Yeah. Yeah. Let's talk about the other guy who was a little, we're a little surprised with, yeah. number eight Aaron Rodgers. Mm -hmm. He's not here with an unexcused absence. Yeah, and it's going to create his Area because he's Aaron Rodgers and everything he does is very polarizing and, and, and people want to hate on him for a number of reasons and this is a reason provided to potentially hate him and I don't think Robert Sala did him too many favors by saying it was unexcused but I, I think it is important to remember that for all of the voluntary workouts that have been here, the practices that Aaron Rodgers did not have to attend, the practices that Aaron Rodgers did not attend when he was quarterback of the Green Bay Packers, he has been here and I've talked to a number of players who have all stressed how much stability he's provided mm -hmm. to the offense, the leadership, he's obviously looked tremendous, Janae, when he's been on the field. We've yeah. seen that ourselves with the media open workout. So he's not here right now. He's not expected to be here for the rest of minicamp, but he will be here for the start of training camp. And, and it's probably ultimately going to be much to do about nothing. Uh, I, I don't think that, honestly, when, when all is said and done, Reddick and Rodgers missing these minicamp practices, I don't think it's really going to impact their performance during the season much at all. Uh, but them not being here, obviously, it's a headline to talk about on day uh, one. I mean, obviously, Rodgers is his 20th year. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can say this, though, you and I. Matching again. Yeah. Shocking. All right. Thanks, Connor.